He started painting in 1915 in the middle of the First World War, so he knew all the disasters and the horror of war. He took up painting and found that it was a delight and it took him into a whole new life, a whole new life inspiration and imagination for him. As a child, Churchill didn't really show any indication that painting or the arts in general uh, were of interest to him. Winston Churchill came late to painting at age 40 uh, in 1915 after he was forced to resign his position as first Lord of the Admiralty. After the disastrous Dardanelles campaign at Gallipoli, uh, Churchill took the blame. He retreated then uh, in despair, uh, somewhat depressed, to Ho Farm and shared that cottage uh, with his brother Jack and his sister-in-law Gwendolyn, who encouraged Churchill to pick up a brush. From that point, 1915, had a love affair with painting and did 530 plus canvases. In one of the paintings in this lovely show here, called Terrace at Trent Park, it's a beautiful uh, painting with light streaming through. He says in a, a little book he wrote called Painting as a Pastime, that before he started painting, he had just looked at nature and landscapes in a general sort of way and he never really realized it and never appreciated it as much as when he had painted. Churchill never studied formally. He boldly went into it on his own as he did so many things in life. One painting in particular done in 1938 called Beach at Walmer is a terrific example of the overlapping worlds of Churchill's painting and Churchill's politics. It didn't happen often uh, in this family bathing in the sand, uh, off in the distance across the English Channel you can imagine a looming Nazi threat. And Churchill places, rather boldly, a cannon on the beach as if to say, we must arm. We have several very important paintings uh, depicting the city of Marrakesh uh, in Morocco in the exhibition. It's also the place where Churchill painted his one and only painting he executed during the Second World War, during the Casablanca Conference, when Churchill and Roosevelt gathered to discuss plans for the war. After the conference in Casablanca had ended, Churchill, and only Churchill could do this, invited Roosevelt to travel via motorcade across the desert to the city of Marrakesh, the Paris of the Sahara as he called it, to witness the sunset on the Atlas Mountains. Roosevelt then left the conference, returning to the United States. Churchill asked his assistants and aides to fetch his paint box, and he painted this painting, which he later gave to Roosevelt to commemorate this wonderful occasion. Well, I don't think he was thinking of uh, ambition when he was painting. He's had enough times to think of that. I think he was actually immersed in the enjoyment of it. And of course, it is the challenge to finish a painting and you have to stay at it. Churchill once said that without painting, he could not live. I think that's a very important thing for us to remember. Painting slowed down the life of Winston Churchill, allowed him to concentrate, to really relieve some of the stresses of his normal routine.